these two reactions, which we'll still have to balance, um, they give us a certain amount of this, which I'll write down in just a second. I just don't want to get too messy yet. And they want to find out how many moles of this did we start with. So that's the question. The weird part is there's two reactions. This is what we call simultaneous or consecutive reactions, which will become a big thing in chapter five. Uh, let's balance it first and then we'll see what happens. Is there anything not balanced here? Do I need a two here? Because there's two chlorines that four chlorines here. Hydrogen. And four here? Yeah. How many do I need here? Four. Four. Does that do it or does that make it too crazy? So how many CLs do I really need? Uh, eight, eight. eight. So four, yeah. Four. No, wait, that no, needs to be four. four. Oh, four, four. Okay, you guys make me crazy here. Four. Does that look okay? I yeah. think it's all balanced. Okay, let's do the second one. Uh, there's two CLs here. Oh, there's CL there and there. The CL appears too many times. It's making me crazy. So the carbon looks okay. Fluorine will need at least two. Uh, so let's see what that does. That means we'll need at least two here. Does that fix the chlorine mess? It looks like it. There's four chlorines yeah, on each yeah, side? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you're given simultaneous reactions, what you're going to notice is that you can add them up and certain things will cancel. So in this case, this thing's going to cancel. And I think that might be about it that cancels, but let's write the new reaction. Okay? CH4 plus uh, 4 Cl2 plus 2 HF goes to uh, CCl2F2 plus 6 HCl. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that cancels, so this is what's called my overall reaction when what's called the intermediate cancels. So the thing that cancels is called the intermediate or the species. Now I'm going to write down the numbers, because now I have my real reaction, and everything from here is stoichiometry. Okay. So what we did so far was just consecutive reactions. Okay, so from this point, uh, I'm given the number 2.25 kilograms of that product, and let's see what else I'm given. I want to know how many moles of Cl2 that were consumed. So now I do stoichiometry, I start with what I know. So I know that there's 2.25 kilograms. I, it's easier for me just to change everything to grams. So a kilogram is uh, 1,000 grams. So now I have grams, now I'm going to use molar mass. Uh, and I'll use the periodic table. I don't know what it is, but I need to know the molar mass of CCl2F2. Then, uh, how am I going to get to moles of this? The molar ratio is the key for changing units. So I have one mole on the bottom of CCl2F2, and on the top it will be four moles. This is why we had to balance to get that number four right there in front of Cl2. And that's what I wanted. So whatever the answer is, uh, that's the answer. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, the only thing I was confused with was how you combine the reactions. Okay. Uh, after I did it, does it make sense now or is there still a lingering question? No, that's what I mean. Like, How did you combine the reactions? Oh, even what I did up here. By yeah. the way, the answer is 74.4 moles. And the uh, molar mass, let's see, I have that 120.91. 120.91. Uh, how did I combine them? Well, in the question, uh, it, it tells you that all the CCL4 produced in the first reaction is consumed in the second. Okay. So I knew that one had to cancel, but even if they didn't tell me, that's the only likely candidate, meaning that's the only one in the products here that appear in the reactants here. Okay. Uh, or even vice versa, reactants here and products here. 
There's nothing really that cancels it all, except that one. Mm -hmm. That has to be my intermediate. So they, without saying the words, they gave you a series of what's called uh, simultaneous or consecutive reactions, which what happens is in class, when I write it down a reaction, that's the final overall reaction. That doesn't mean it's exactly how it takes place. There okay. could be a series of intermediate steps yeah. to get to that final one. And that's what we're showing you with this new concept. 